good morning dr abhay kumar firodiya ji chief guest of today's program dr deepak tilak guest of honor my vice president balwinder singh ji my immediate past president sanjay gupta ji my colleague in the council i ashok chairperson of pune chapter meena vaidya madam president of south asian federation of accountants dr jagan mohan rao also my colleague in the council all my council colleagues galaxy of past presidents who are here amongst us representatives from all the safa member bodies representatives from kapa and acca i must recognize the presence of council member from the institute of chartered accountants of india dr zaure sir former president of cs institute mahesh athavle sir my mentor dr ashok joshi and a galaxy of delegates who are all come here to attend this two day national convention on cost and management accountants power of the past force of the future when we decided that we will have this national convention here in my city of pune and we were coining the theme of the national convention we did not imagine that this national convention on power of the past and force of the future will be inaugurated at the auspicious hands of a company's chairman whose tagline is new force for a new india dr abhay kumar firodiya sir chairman of force motors limited being from pune i was insistent that i would like to have this national convention in my city of pune and my council supported me i am thankful for that when i invited my friends from safa i was talking about my city of pune and i told them that pune is called the detroit of india it is the cultural capital of maharashtra it is also a it hub and the ministry of urban development has published the most livable cities for the year 2018 and pune is number 1 as the most livable city <laughs> pune also boasts of having as many as 9 universities and more than 100 institutes and i am really happy that the vice chancellor of tilak maharashtra university dr deepak tilak is here amongst us as guest of honor i must mention here that we were informed about the sudden change of plans of our honorable minister suresh prabhu ji just day before yesterday in the night and we were very very cautious as to what to do for today's program and we approached dr firodiya ji and dr tilak ji and in less than 24 hours even though they were extremely busy just for the love for our institute they are here amongst us we must <laughs> express our gratitude sir this is a joint event this is a national convention of our institute and also we will be having safa events the president of safa is from my institute dr jagan mohan rao and tomorrow we will be inaugurating the safa events at the hands of the local member of parliament anil shirole ji 
and day after tomorrow also there will be some competitions and best presented annual reports awards which are also going to be held here in pune which are purely safa events i would not go into the details of the various activities that have been carried out by the institute because i think my producing uh, speakers have already talked about that but i must mention that today's national convention we have tried to get the best of speakers we have a speaker from uk a speaker from singapore speaker from asa indian institute of management and many other experts to deliberate on the various topics that we have decided to be a part of this national convention the entire world is going through indian industrial revolution 4 and we as accountants or cost and management accountants cannot be away from it the concepts of robotics artificial intelligence blockchain are something that we have to be aware of because it is bound to change the way the profession of accounting and cost and management accounting is going to take shape in years to come so we have a special session only on this during the national convention and to begin with so that our members are also equipped with the latest technologies we are proud to say that today's event is being broadcast live on our own youtube channel across the globe and there are thousands of cost and management accountants sitting across the globe who are watching this event live also one very different thing which we are trying to do during the technical sessions the question and answer session we will be having online so the august audience who is sitting over here or those who are watching it on youtube channel can post the questions on the link that has been shared with everybody and the questions will be displayed on the screen and the uh, speakers can take up those questions so it need not be restricted to only those who are attending today's program of course we are also aware that institute of cost and management accountants we have a social responsibility so what is the implication of climate change on the global economy what are the challenges of agricultural costing how do you do costing of medical services these are also some of the topics that we will be debating on and i am happy to share with you that the institute is already working on research papers on costing of agricultural produce and costing of medical services which we propose to submit to the government for their further very soon of course to equip our members with these latest technologies and also the various areas of practice which my immediate past president sanjay gupta ji has already mentioned we are making mandatory training to all our practitioners and we are also launching three specific programs based on the inputs we have collected from our members the launch will happen today we are launching a program on forensic audit information systems audit and data analytics one more thing which i must mention here the institute under the program which is being launched by the government of india is coming up with a special training program on gst accountant where we have a ambitious program of training as many as 1 lakh accountants specifically for gst compliances so as to ensure that the sme sector is also catered to very well in the new era of the gst it will be a government prog funded program and it is likely to be announced in the first week of february 
I must compliment uh, my colleagues in the council who have worked really hard to make various representations to the government and uh, at the end of which Niti Aayog has approved this particular program and we are going ahead with it. So with this, I would like to conclude by saying that with the power of the glorious past, our institute and its members are stepping up to become a force of the future. I am also happy to note that the entire press is here with us and specifically Business Standard and CNBC TV18 are our uh, media partners for this event who are covering this entire event of two days. Thank you.